Now, Punjab and Haryana High Court has issued a notice to Haryana government on granting furlough to Dera Chief Gurmeet Singh and asked for the basis for granting the furlough. In fact, in court, Haryana government has said that the Dera Chief was not a hardcore criminal and was in fact not an assailant in the murder cases but a co-conspirator and thus is eligible for a furlough. Now, remember, Gurmeet Singh has been convicted in two cases of murder and also for raping two sadhvis in his ashram. He is serving a life sentence for one of the murder cases and 20 years jail term for the rape convictions. And he's currently out on furlough. And to top it, he also has Z plus security. And this has been given to him, quoting the threats from pro Khalistani elements in the poll season. If we can specifically talk about Ram Rahim case uh, <clears throat> before elections, and he has been granted uh, furlough for the 21 days. Immediately after the Punjab polls, uh, these things have been developed. Uh, Z security has been given to him, saying that there is a threat perception from pro Khalistani. And at the same time, in the uh, court, there is the affidavit by the top law officer who has said that he does not fall under Z uh, hardcore criminal category. And the, uh, the reason which they had cited, they say that uh, his conduct in the jail was very good and moreover he was the conspirator he was not involved in the crime so how do you see this uh, all over the scenario how do you see this development from the Haryana government side why there are different uh, uh, yardsticks for different cases there should be same law for each and every party why should not we compare at the time of election you don't allow parole to all uh, prisoners generally they keep an eye on all the uh, persons with criminal record. So why specific parole at this time, for such a long time, when others have been tonight? So that means there is some politics. It's not being done on merit. You, I, you have raised a very, very pertinent question. You are talking about the sick prisoners who have already completed the jail terms and after that they were not being released. At the same time, do you think that uh, the way we have seen that uh, he was having a lot of followers in the Malwa region, he was having a lot of vote bank, do you think that BJP was doing some politics uh, uh, behind the curtain? I am not talking only about sick prisoners or Hindu prisoners or Muslim prisoners. I am talking about the fundamental rights of every prisoner. Why there are different yardsticks for different prisoners? The persons who have already completed their sentence and they are overstaying there for 10, 12 years, they are not being given parole on the death of his father. He was granted only one hour parole, that too by the court. So why this uh, uh, extraordinary favor for one person? Advocate Karuna Nandi now joins me on the broadcast. Ms. Nandi, thank you so much for joining me on Mirror Now. What do you make of this defense uh, that has been put forth by the government in Haryana? Uh, they have really, you know, put this argument before the court and called uh, Gurmeet Singh as not a hardened criminal. I think this is extremely bizarre. And I'm told that he's been given Z plus security, that he's not a hardened criminal. I mean, what do you say about someone who has these very, very serious, has been convicted of these very, very serious crimes? And I want to know whether the uh, victims are getting this kind of security, given the fact that he had these very devoted, brainwashed followers that they would be in danger from. So frankly, this is a, um, it's a travesty of the law. Absolutely. Ms. Nandi, the fact that they had the audacity to actually call him not a hardened criminal, remember we are talking about uh, cases uh, that are murder cases and rape cases against him. And we've seen the kind of situation that has come to light and all this happening in the poll season says a lot about the government in the state. This, uh, the governments, successive governments in the state um, have been making this matter political uh, from the time of when, you know, the FIRs were filed, right? There was a lack of zealous prosecution at the first instance, then when there were protests and 144 was imposed. And so the, the history of this case has been incredibly political. And you see mm. uh, you see the Sankar yes. in particular, the BJP, 
wheeling out these sorts of so-called godmen. And, you know, in, in this case here, somebody who's convicted of these incredibly serious crimes. And, I mean, I really hope voters see through this. Ms. Nandi, one final thing that I'd like to ask you here is uh, this is the 21-day follow that we are talking about as far as the DERA chief is concerned. When he was given this, now the argument before the court, which was put forth by the government in the state earlier also, was that he's actually gone ahead and completed a certain tenure as far as his jail term is concerned and hence he is eligible for that furlough. How true is that and how, uh, where does it hold? How much water does this argument hold? So, oh, look, I'm not familiar with the particular facts of his, uh, you know, the uh, the term of his sentence, etc. And if he's entitled to the furlough, fair enough. I think the problem is different. The problem is if, as your team told me, he's getting the Z plus security, and if he, they are saying he's not a hardened criminal in court, the government that is meant to protect the victims of this this person, then what hope do uh, what hope do the victims? Mm -hmm have and their families you know and particularly in these cult life situations you have the uh you have the sort of blind believing followers who are and and the the, the victims are in danger of those people so what hope do we have that the law and order right. apparatus will be protecting them you see Absolutely. Karuna Nandi, thank you so much for joining me on Mirror Now on uh, this development uh, that we are bringing to you on this particular story. A bizarre story that's coming to light from uh, Haryana and an argument that has been put forth by the government in the state. We'd have to see how much water does that argument really hold. We're getting more breaking news, uh, which is to do with the same story. Now the youth Congress leader have gone ahead and questioned the furlough and the Z plus security of the DERA chief Gurmeet Singh. Congress leader Srinivas BV has asked if Gurmeet Ram Rahim would now be made BJP's chief ministerial candidate from Haryana. Meanwhile, also more uh, comments are coming in. Dr. Shama Mohammed has also taken a sarcastic jibe saying that a rapist has been given Z plus security and this is really the mindset of the BJP. Raman Malik of the BJP is joining me on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Malik, your first responses to all these reactions that are coming in. If we have not followed the due process of law, we must be held guilty. If we are not following the presidents, we must be held guilty. To protect a criminal also at times becomes very important because justice must be served. Tomorrow, if this criminal is given, if not given a security and something happens to him on his parole, the justice would not be served. That is one part of it. But I must ask today of the Congress... But Mr. Malik, we are questioning the timing of this furlough over here. Why has he been given the furlough just ahead of the polls in Punjab? And why this additional requirement of a Z-plus security also? Let me answer, please. Those criminals, yes. whether they Please have done, ahead. whether those criminals who have done financial fraud or land grabbing have been given SPG protections. You must not forget somebody like who has been indicted or the cases are going ahead right now for land grab and financial fraud and other things in various land cases were enjoying SPG protection. People out on bail for doing a scam in their own political party who are out on bail had been given SPG protection. Some but Mr. Malik, Malik why don't we stick now? to uh, Gurmeet Singh and talk about the accusations against him and talk about the conviction that has been against him? Because here we're talking about him being accused of rape and him being accused of murder, sentenced to, uh, in fact, 20 years in jail because of rape and life imprisonment. So that is the kind of sentencing that we are talking about here. We're not talking about the others over here. We Let's just stick to Gurmeet Singh and the sentence against him. Why? If, if uh, you can accept the comments of Shama Mohammed and B.V. Shenevas, why should you not accept my uh, comment? Because I'm from BJP.
you want to do uh, you want to be hypocritical in accepting no, comments no absolutely also? not sir i just want you to not steer the conversation in any other direction because we are here concentrating on this particular follow that's been granted to uh, gurmeet singh and also the argument that has been put in by the haryana government in court that is what we are discussing here sir so have the comments of bibi shrinivas and shama mohammed been on those they have been saying make the chief minister make gurmeet ram rahim the chief minister is that acceptable so that is not is not violation of the uh, topic right now so that is why i say that the fact of the matter is that those who who have been butchers and have been doing various frauds and various crimes against the country enjoy spg protection the entire gandhi family you must understand the case of sukanya is a classic case where an entire family is wiped off and is the person accused is also freed from the court so that is the level of uh, you know the, the misuse of law in in this country that has been witnessed and today when we are following the due process of law and making sure that the criminal who is out on parole does not get harmed so that other cases do not get impacted and the people who are waiting for justice do not uh, say that oh the person is now gone what justice would we get so that is the most important factor that the justice must be served a second those who have glass houses should not be barking around here and there and the third and most important thing is today we are bound duty bound to protect even a criminal if the matter is such where we find that there may be uh, let's say a threat to his life and justice being served becomes uh, in question okay then it is necessary for us to save the uh, make sure that okay. the, uh, the criminal also survive Okay, so we are on the same play, page here, Mr. Malik. When you say that Gurmeet Ram Rahim is a criminal, uh, is that is that right, sir? Because the government in Haryana has put their uh, the, that argument in court that he is not a hardened criminal. So that is the argument that they have put forth when questioned on the follow. The hardened criminal definition, as per court, must be looked into, and if uh, those parameters are not. in place by the must be looked into so we are talking about murder we are talking about raping two sadhvis is this That, not something which is associated with an hard with a hardened criminal see some uh, the basic fact is when you say ki bada ped girta hai aur dharti hilti hai then you are talking about making sure that about few thousand sikhs get butchered murdered but for you that may not be a hardened criminal we have to go as per the description of law which is given by the honorable court if we are wrong then the honorable court would definitely reprimand the state as well as the ag who has given this uh, clearance but if not so please do not believe that okay. you are above or i am above the court All right. Uh, nobody is believing that, sir. But thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast and uh, putting forth uh, the BJP's perspective on the broadcast. Are we getting some breaking news at this hour?